Good evening, friends. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Well, I should be in Picos de Europa in northern Spain at this moment, but I'm not. I am heading north to um, well, Teesside for tonight. As I said, should be in Picos de Europa, but that's cancelled till next year, postponed till next year. I figured I've still got to do something. Good to that I'm not down there on our annual wild bad trip. So join me and the Africa Twin for the next few days up north. Let's see what we can get up to. I ain't got a clue what we're going to do. I've got my wallet, I've got my phone, got some clothes, got my DSLR, got my drone. What more do I need? That's it. Join me after the intro and we'll see what we can get up to. Let's do it. Yeah! Good on! Good morning folks and welcome. Thank you for sticking around. Well, I'm in Rydale, in Cleveland TT. We're gonna have some fun up this way for the next couple of days, or at least for today. Hey up, oh, who's this in front? It's bloody Pete English law! It's bloody Pete English in front of us! Fancy bumping into you, pal! Yeah, I've never been up here before. It's not a bad way to spend your day at the office, is it? I was saying the other week when we did the lakes and came back down through the Yorkshire Moors. And, uh, I'm quite ashamed to say that I've really glossed over the Yorkshire Moors before, you know, but it's amazing. And I definitely need to spend more time up here, definitely. Yeah, definitely need to get more familiar with this uh, area, definitely. Stunning. Well, folks, I turned the camera off a few minutes ago right when um right before a deer ran out in front of pete <laughs> well say so ran out in front of him it were it was an easily avoidable incident but it was lovely wasn't it lovely looking big old antlers on him and, oh mate this is amazing so according to the weather folks this should be hammering it down and as you can see it's glorious don't know what tomorrow is going to bring but there's lanes everywhere thank you countryside folks you cannot beat it it was lovely to see when we did the big little that how how much fish was enjoying it brilliant absolutely brilliant thank you mate pete's not filming so he won't be able to tell you this but it was so we were saying earlier that um in the past years ago he used to just ride his bike to like a local cafe and and back home and i know people that just do that as well but do yourselves a favour, if you are one of those people, do yourselves a favour and treat yourself to just get on your bike early in the morning and just go. Just go and disappear with no agenda. Just You'll end up in the middle of nowhere and it's the best feeling ever. Just look at this. Absolutely brilliant. Your bike's there to be ridden, so take it and take yourself out of your comfort zone. There's nothing better than just exploring. Just riding and exploring. Can't beat it. It's nice being sitting at the back here, folks, and letting Pete, Pete take me through his playground. It's nice. Ba boom I love how it blips when it downshifts on this. This would sound awesome with a... I mean, it sounds awesome anyway, but you put an aftermarket can on this, it'd sound monstrous I'm sure it's lovely and I, I say this regularly you know with Derbyshire and I make it quite obvious how much I love the countryside um, even though you tell yourself you don't take it for granted and you don't get blase about it you probably do a little bit but it's clear to see like even with you now that you're still riding through your own back garden with love arts in your eyes you know what I mean it's 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 beautiful just to be able to still hold it that in that high regard you know and it is it really is therapy There's nothing like a, a, a nice solitary ride through countryside to sort you sort you out if you're stressed. You, I know what your game is. You just don't want to get your bike dirty. <laughs> I've never heard Pete English say he doesn't want to go off roading. You're full of ish, pal. <laughs> well, we've got some miles to do today. Yeah. Well, ah, uh, no, I, I best not. <laughs> you just thinking? I just don't want dish on my nice clean bike. 
See, look, you, you tie it, your tires are shished up now already. You might as well just go. <laughs> I'm gonna say, <laughs> my hand's already out. <laughs> Is this the 10 mile long one then? Fantastic, 100% up for this, pal. Look at state of your, oh, look at state of your bike already. <laughs> See folks, that video I did last on the Africa Twin getting into a bit of bother, that it, it never comes across on the camera how steep a road is and trust me, it was so steep, it was just, uh, and, and the big rocks that were really loose, it was just losing traction all the time because of the gravity pulling me. But like this, this is almost flat, tiny, tiny incline, but it's perfect, it feels spot on. So that was the only problem really with that lane I went on on this there is because of the, the sheer incline of it. 10 miles of this, amazing. in it <laughs> why did he choose left <laughs> quite steep that's right you jump through you right watch your stand Yeah, so manual mode is just the paddles, and then if you put it in sport mode, which is what I leave it in all the time, sport two, so it holds your gears for more of a sporty ride, you can still override it without it coming back out of, um, you know, it doesn't, the, the last model used to, if you over overrode it, it would switch itself into manual mode, so then you have to switch it back into sports mode, whereas now, it stays in sports mode and you can just interfere basically up and down as and when you want. Which is very, which is very cool, you know, and it, and it learns to how you ride. So if you're constantly overriding it for certain things, it'll 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 get a feel for it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Shall I? <laughs> Come on, mate. I hate leaving bikes like that. Bear with me one sec. <laughs> I love that you're still bloody smiling. Right, let me get this. Let's get this bike up. We got break. Yeah. Not a mark, mate. Not a mark. <laughs> You've literally not even got a mark anywhere. Oh, yeah, tiny bit there. Even the engine bars. There's not really anything on engine bars. That tiny bit on the dark bit there, lot. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> No, not, not brilliant at all. <laughs> right at the bloody end and all. Fantastic, that. Oh, she's definitely christened now, pal. I can't believe, so your pride and joy is on the floor and the first thing you think of is getting a picture before, pick, before picking it up. <laughs> it just shows you what difference having engine protection makes. Like, without that, that would have made a horrible mess, wouldn't it? I'm glad we did that off-roading bit, though. That was cool. I think it was just squeeze by. Remember, I've got panniers on. Oh, oh. A bit slippy, 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 slippy. Is he? Oh yeah, it's that big branch lot. 
Oh, Dave, what's he gonna do? I have to start pulling bales off or something. Still struggling, lad is. I can't see. Uh, well, he obviously knows what he's doing, but I'm, I'm surprised anyway that he's coming over this bridge. There's no no passing for that, is there? For a while. It's a good job we squeezed past him where we did. Look at that. That's lovely. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah. Ex exposed for this for the highlights. Otherwise, um, it, yeah, you press on it where you want it to expose for. So because you're pointing into the sun, just press press where the sun is, and it, you'll see the sky really nice. But I'll be dead dark. But then you can enhance that afterwards but if you if you expose for that you can pull all the shadows back up but if you expose for this that'll just be bright white and you can't you can't do anything about it yeah safe to say Gore-Tex are good This is a lovely spot mate, yeah, really nice. What a stunning location. Oh dear, hang on a minute, Pete's going to take us across a ford I think. Have you been through that? What's the, uh, is it slippy, is it passable? <laughs> I'm gonna make sure camera's rolling. <laughs> Here he goes again, folks. Are you alright? You alright? Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> I was actually joking, folks, when I said that he's gonna do it again. Yeah, it's dead slippy, isn't it? Oh, shoot. Mate, have you s is that your scrape all the way down there? No, it's not, is it? Right. Yeah, well. How do you want to do it? Okay. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. It's going to be hard work, this is. Right. right is, that, is that your phone? Is that your bike? I mean. Yeah, Right, let me get to the other side. Oh, oh mate, this is properly, properly slippy. Right. Was it? <laughs> you got to be careful to get this back out. Um, it's probably better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you. <laughs> right. Oh, we are. Is there someone there? No. Oh. Hello. 
can't hear that. Yeah. Hello? Do you need assistance? No. no, we're okay, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Goodbye. Thank you very much. It's amazing. Right, mate, we've got to be dead careful here. Yeah. Just walk it, though. Yeah. Because it's even hard to... <laughs> yeah. Have you, have you got your stand down, then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, is this link here? Hang on. Is it, is it too early to laugh yet? <laughs> <laughs> Connected to switchboard, how do you cancel that then? Do you have to press something to cancel it? Do you need assistance? That's amazing though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's, let's just try and get it out. Get it up perfectly up straight. Right, you keep... Whoa, 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 whoa! Front's going again, front's going again. Mate, I don't know how we're going to do this, because it's pulling me. Wait, 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 wait. Right, are you on the sand? Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, safe? Yeah. How are we going to do this? Because the front is just moving. What are you, what are you, what are you doing? I, I, mate, it could easily go again, because my feet are... Oh, my feet are absolutely not... Ah, oh, right, right. Steady, 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 steady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't, I cannot believe how slippy that is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, 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 the current, the current's taking my feet. Whoa. If you can get it, get it on your stand if you have to. Yeah, you safe? Whoa. Right, we're gonna, right, we're stick, we're, yeah, we've done it, we've done it, we've done it. Whoo! <laughs> are, you on your, are you on your stand? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Mate, I, I don't know how well that's going to come across on video, but the bike's like, you like dance round, and you were like dancing with it underneath it. <laughs> Look, you got. It's a nice thing for uh, Gore Tex again, though, isn't it? Not, not one. You've actually been lying in a river, <laughs> not <It's> wet. <laughs> Don't tell me there's not a mark again, that's unbelievable. Not How is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man. Right, I'll give it a go now. <laughs> You're dead. Which way are we going, Pete? Are we going? No way. I, I was panicking there, you know, just when we were uh, walking it out, I was really panicking. Do you need assistance? You've not hurt yourself or anything, have you? No, no. Because you were literally underneath it. You, 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 you were pirouetting underneath the frigging motorbike in a river. At least she's still smiling, mate. I can't believe that. Mate, I cannot believe there's no mark on that. It was, it was sliding underwater, spinning round. There's not even a mark on it. <laughs> it did look spectacular, though. <laughs> It's slipping, slipping and sliding away. <laughs> the rocks to the entry were perfectly grippy, but the, the slime on the others were unbelievable. Testament to those protection bars, mate, because that is, I cannot believe there's no damage. I, I don't think anyone's going through that at all at the moment with it being that slimy. Tyres won't really make a difference because there's just no, there's no friction, is there? Slip slide in away. <laughs> That's gonna stick in my head now. <laughs> that SOS thing's amazing. Is that like a subscription service then? Yeah. And obviously they know your GPS position, don't they? So they know exactly where you are. Very clever. Chances of getting that to stick there. <laughs> None whatsoever. Maybe there. You can't leave it in gear, can you? Because it's DCT. Well, you, just, you just put handbrake, yeah. Oops, is that. Oh, ah. Cool. 
cool shot that is. All that fill, folks, is the sign of a bloody good day's ride. Oh, what a place. Look at that. Boom, boom. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Got to get a photo of that. I think I'm just going to take it, uh Showing that down. That's awesome. You can hear, um, you know, the wind howling through those uh, ropes there. You know, the ropes. You can hear the wind howling through them, and it sounds like, like a tune almost, you know. Oh, it's fantastic, that is. What a view. What a view, folks, eh? What a view. Butter Tubbs Pass. I'm definitely going to have to come up here more often. It's absolutely stunning. Just look at that little lonesome farm there, middle of nowhere. We've almost got it to ourselves and all. Look at all the colours to that one, oh, the big hill over there to your left. All the colours in it. And then obviously the sun setting behind it, uh, behind doors as well. So you've got your shadows. Wow. Imagine that. Oh my god, imagine that. Imagine buying this place. What a beautiful place. Folks, if you ever want to know what Yorkshire looks like, or the stereotypical Yorkshire, you're looking at it right now. What an absolutely perfect, perfect. Oh man. I like how the water looks rusty as well. Yeah. Telephone box with an actual telephone in it. What a picture perfect place, eh? Well, folks, we're nearly at our digs. Five minutes and we'll be there. So, uh, we'll leave this beautiful... Way! <laughs> to totally jumped it. <laughs> we'll leave this uh, beautiful Yorkshire countryside to play out. Soak it up and just appreciate it for what it is. Thanks very much, folks. Adios. What a location. There we go folks. The highest in in the UK, is it? Wow. What a spot. What a bloody spot. Oh fantastic. What a location. 
I haven't even gone in it yet, and it's one of my favourite pubs ever. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pal. Stick it there. Thank you, mate, for that. Wow. Britain's highest, Britain's best. Highest pub on the British Isles at 1700 feet. How awesome is this? Oh, there's nothing around it, nothing. They have to boot out the residents from the bar at um, 10 o'clock, obviously, to follow COVID. Give us all a free glass of port and a cheese board. How bloody amazing is that? I could do it. A knife, though. I have to use that. A spoon. Cheese board, brilliant. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Talking with my mouthful, my George will be telling me off now. There's a stage, back room, restaurant. When things are back to normal, it might be nice to book it for a while. Bad do. Big stage in back room, fantastic. I'm going to eat, eat my cheese board in peace, I think, folks. So, I'll bid you farewell. And also, the Tanil is mega. Food spot on. Paper is spot on. Location is unbeatable. And they give you a free cheese board. Anyway, I'm going to eat all this. And I'm going to bed. See you in the morning.